of us left. And it's game on. The tension between us all, you could cut it with a knife. We just want it so bad. The challenges have been getting tougher and tougher. So I'm expecting all the stops to be pulled out for this challenge. We walk inside and on the table is a map, a laptop and a book of clues. What the hell? It's Why be is like... there a computer? There's... We didn't know what this challenge was going to be. And, you know, we thought it, it was going to be pretty tough. Good morning. Good morning, hey, morning baby. Good morning. Well, how are you all feeling knowing the end is in sight? Exciting. Yeah. I know. Well, we've reached the final challenge here at Beauty and the Geek Australia. Oh. And you're in luck, because this challenge involves no studying. Yeah. I love you, Bernard. Instead, you'll have to rely on what you've learned about all the departed beauties and geeks during our social experiment. As we speak, they are each waiting for you <laughs> at different locations somewhere around the city. Your mission is to find them. We were just so ecstatic. We were going to be able to see our friends again. Now, to assist you, each team gets a laptop with internet capabilities, a map of the city, and a book of clues. I've done orienteering, I've done races like this before, so I thought map book there, I might have the edge. Oh, and to make the trip just a bit more fun, each team gets the use of a stretch hummer. <laughs> we got a hummer, we got a hummer. Now, each couple, has to find three departed beauties and geeks using the clues provided. If someone else gets there first, you'll miss out and must move on to the next clue. The first two teams to make it back to the Beauty and the Geek Mansion with three departed beauties and geeks secures their place in the final elimination quiz and gets their shot at the $100,000 prize. This is awesome! I'd love to win for Michelle. I'd love to win for myself to achieve something unique and incredible. The last team back leaves the game and goes home empty handed. Oh my god. So, ladies and gentlemen, beauties and geeks, good luck. Your time starts now. <laughs> It's extremely important that Jeremy and I win today. Go on, go on, go on. Karen and I wanted this more than any other team. Read it to me, read it to me. We have a laptop with internet, a map of Sydney, and also book of clues. And we don't know where to stop. You drop me the door. No, you stretch me out. I've double clicked it like five times. No, I think Peter's one of the people that wants to do everything himself. Is the internet not working? Can I please try it? He wants the book of clues, he wants the map, and he wants the laptop to himself. I've clicked it like five times. No. I was very anxious. I wanted the bloody laptop. To tell you the truth, I thought I could spell these words a hell of a lot quicker than Michelle does. Just I wait till it unfreezes. <sighs> Statistically speaking, this geek can see 300. Our strategy was to figure out all the locations first. Look carefully between the flags and you'll find a bikini beauty on the city's most famous beach. And then take the quickest and shortest route to the first three. The king of comics. Comic King, is that a... That might be like... Maybe, yeah. Uh, Lord, Lord, Sydney Lord Brewery? We decide to try and look at the destinations, which ones will be closer to other destinations, so to minimise the time. Look carefully between the flags and you'll find a bikini beauty on this city's most famous beach. That's at Bondi. So we're going to Bondi first, right? Yes. Come on, Bondi! The clue said that they would be between the flags. OK, I see one flag in the middle. There should be flags here. We soon realised that there were multiple sets of flags. 
Oh, there must be a flag down here flag too. Flag down here. And this added on to the confusion. Okay, go, go, go. Go, Michelle. Bondo's path, people lying everywhere. See a tag? No. There's no one there. And I thought, wow, what are we going to do? She's not here. Next flag. Me and Peter are running to the next one. I'm like, come on, Peter, he's so tired. Go. Come on, you got to keep with me. OK, we've got to just get this as quickly as possible. Ignore the pain, ignore the pain. Darcy! Free! Now this time they see this blonde hair and someone standing in a dress. Kate! Sprinting towards her, tagged her, put it there. I was excited for them. Kate, lovely to see you. Without being a bit selfish, I was more excited that I was out of the sun. <laughs> The beauty likes to smile. Oh. Find her in this part oh. where Luna's toothy grin eclipses them all. Luna that? Park! We're pretty sure it was Elise. She's renowned for her smile. We need to go to one Olympic drive, Milson's Point, Luna Park. We knew that that was fairly close to the city and we thought there was such an obvious clue that none of the other teams would go there because it was too obvious. So kind of a bit of reverse psychology. <laughs> Driving down the highway, and then out of nowhere, another Hummer pulls up. No! I bet you they're going to the same place. Oh, come on! Oh, change lanes! I think we realised it wasn't going to be that easy when we looked through the back window. Oh, my God, we were in college. And we saw a Hummer right behind us. Go away! It was neck and neck. And we were just gearing ourselves for one heck of a race. We've got to try and beat them. We have to. The tension in the Hummer at this point was absolutely through the roof. Crap. We have to try and get this one. We should be first as well. We should be there. Or we're in real trouble. They have a tyre blowout. Go, go! Go. We just bolted. <laughs> Run! Pelting, absolutely pelting towards Elise, who's standing under the big smile at Luna Park. Run, Emma! Oh, go away! It was neck and neck, and we were just gearing ourselves for one heck of a race. Crap! Go, go! Go! We just bolted. Pelting, absolutely pelting towards Elise, who's standing under the big smile at Luna Park. Run, Emma! Jeremy just screams, stop! Jeremy and I just turn around and just run all the way back to our Hummer. We decided we were just going to go find someone else. I hate them. I hate how she goes so fast. Well, this is important. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was so stoked that we got to Elise first and we could claim her as ours. Never stop running! I am the king of comics. I found a special place where Superman and I will help you in your race. That's we read the clue, yeah, it said Comic Superman. I thought Nathan, I was really excited because I really wanted to see Nathan. He's probably one of the geeks I wanted to see most of all. King Comics, 310 Pitt Street, Sydney. King's Comics, 310 Pitt Street, Central Sydney. You right? A lot of it wasn't just figuring out our clues. A, a lot of it was choosing the right places, oh, turning up there at the right yep. time, turning up there before another team. Are we on Pitt Street now? That's Michelle and Peter. No, this isn't happening. Is anyone in the car with them? You can't see in these damn things. I like crap. We're going to miss out on our second person in a row. They're in the bus lane and there's a bus in front of it and it could pass, so we pass and I was like, ha, 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 we are passing you. Let's go to other four destinations. I hate Sydney and its traffic. I hate it. Yeah, Pitt Street goes that way as well. Pitt Street's really a long street, babe. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so what are we thinking. cutting into now? 
Oh, back up, back up, back up. Okay, it's just here. We're like 20 meters away. Get ready to go. Ah, oh, talk about stress. Okay. You know, we got out of the car, really excited. I want to do the right thing. 310's gonna be that way. And we reach the lights, and I'm thinking, what the hell? It's red. I'm like, come on, come on, come on. Press on the button. Oh, I hope we win this. Look I'm like, hurry up, this. hurry up. What are you doing? Come on, traffic light. Waiting at the lights for what seemed like eternity. Babe, 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 where are you going? Go. Michelle raced off ahead of me. Don't knock anyone out. She's okay. like a little rocket. 2522. Two, two. Come on, stay with me. And what do we do? We go the wrong way. Wait, we're going the wrong way. No. It was chaos. It was such chaos. Oh, oh, I see it. I see it. King's coming. I can't see Nathan. It doesn't matter. Maybe he's in there. Three, go. <laughs> oh, sorry. Nathan! How are you doing? You're calling me. Come on, we're going to go. Nathan looked amazing. His hair was shorter. He had contacts in. You look hot. Amazing. Oh, you're gonna leave it. You're gonna leave it on the table. Come on. Jeremy and I were just excited that we got someone. We can win this thing. Let's go, go, go. They're running down there. Got to the store. Hundred percent sure it was the right place. King's coming, sir. We know it's a place. We've got to be here. There was no sign of Nathan. Where could it be? He's not here. Finally saw that there was the marker on the table. Look, there's one here, Michelle. We missed it. Hell, we'd missed it. Let's go. Get out of there as quickly as we can. Let's run. Quick, run. We should go somewhere else. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Should we go reckon? King's Comics? Pitt Street? Maybe. The fact that we got to Elise first kind of disadvantaged us a little bit because we knew then that Emma and Jeremy were on to the next location. Oh, God, I don't know. We went back through the clue book because we thought maybe we, we might need a new strategy. Statistically speaking, this geek can see 3,000 stars a night. If he wanted to observe more, you'd find him on this um, hill. It's got to be the observatory because it's the highest point in Sydney. Yeah. Driver, can we go to the observatory, please? I knew that the Sydney Observatory was on the top of, I think it's the highest point in Sydney, so it was on the top of, of one of the hills. Go. Oh my God, it was the cutest thing. You reminded me of Forrest Gump sitting on the bench. <laughs> Leisha and I were over the moon. It was so exciting. Another one down. Tick the box. Let's let's go. For any beauty worth their salt in capitals, yeah. a trip to the clinic in capitals is just what the beautician ordered. So do you want to try the salt clinic? Still in such a high from picking up Nathan, our energy levels were through the roof. Quickly. <laughs> Do you think that that would be... Um... Okay, okay, there we go. We want to go to the Salt Clinic, please. 371 to 373 Burke Street, Darlinghurst, Sydney. Salt Clinic. I've never heard of it before. Yeah. Where's the Salt Clinic? There, back there. Clinic. We jump out of the Hummer. I was thinking to myself, I wore the correct shoes today. If I wore heels, I probably would have had to take them off and throw them and just run in bare feet. <laughs> they were just so excited and I was excited and we ran out to the Hummer together and it was exciting. Lots of back together. There's only one more to go. We couldn't believe we were doing so well. OK, X marks the spot where you'll find this stately geek musing over art in this spectacular gallery. It's got to be Xenogen, 100%. We're going to Art Gallery Road, the Art Gallery. yet suffered any withdrawal symptoms from leaving the house, but uh, no, it was still good to catch up with Pete and Michelle. I was just relieved that we spotted him, first of all, and that he hadn't already been taken. This lordly geek is a history buff who likes the odd tipple. Find him in Sydney's oldest brewery. It's got to be Toby. Lordly, old school gentleman, and the fact that it was at a brew house and he enjoys the odd tipple. The Lord Nelson Brewery, 19 Kent Street, The Rocks. 
I was just going mental. I was like, get me out of here. Get out. Go. Go. The district crossing, just go. Like, we were just firecrackers. I've absolutely loved those two. They've been great friends throughout this entire experience. <laughs> well, that's good beer. Unfortunately, though, I didn't get to finish my beer, so I was a bit upset about that. We've got the next one. Looking for a shave and a haircut? Why not head east to a grand little barber shop where everyone is treated like a royal? Capital letters, Grand Barber Shop okay. Royal. Okay. So okay. Well, okay. Paul's in a barber shop band. <gasps> ECT buddy, we Paul. Oh, I'm so big, Paul. Drive that quickly, go to the Royal Barber Shop, 397 Liverpool Street, Darlinghurst. I was just hoping that Pete and Michelle hadn't got there first and that Paul would still be there waiting for us. In the terminal by the quay, a mystery beauty awaits, but you better be quick because this pampered passenger is about to set sail on an overseas adventure. Can we go to Sydney Cove Terminal at Circular Quay? I'm thinking, okay, we're gonna go to Circular Quay. Circular Quay's not that far from here. The rocks is just up around the corner. But traffic again. Shit. We're thinking, you know, everyone else is probably in traffic too. Far out. <sighs> Overseas passenger terminal. That's there it is, Grand Wait. Grand Royal Barber Shop. Here we go. Come on, come on. Three. Wait, three. That's awesome. Back to the mansion. So we're driving back to the mansion, and I had the butterflies in my stomach, and I kept looking, you know, out the back window to see that if there was another, you know, black Hummer coming up behind us. No, you guys were queen. The other teams. I know, you really just don't know. It's just not oh, I don't want to think about it. Yeah, just the paranoia of if we're going to get there. <sighs> Can't wait to see looking for Elise's face when we get there before them. No idea where the other teams were. It was really stressful. <gasps> what? Are you trying to freak me out? Oh my god, we got three people. So we're driving back to the mansion. I was just like, Paranoid as all hell. Oh my god, we're getting really close to the match. I know. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I really don't know how the other teams have gone. Like, are we going to be the first? Are we going to make it to the, you know, the final two? Or are we going to be the last and have to go home? Almost here. We had no idea where the other teams were. It was really stressful. Can't wait to see looking for Elise's face when we get there before them. Lisa, Corin. Yes. You successfully snared three former cast members. Yes. Are we going to do it? Are we going to make the final show? Oh my god. You are the first team back to the mansion. like the best feeling ever. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Can we do the dance? We just yes. This is what it's all about. We're in the last two. The final two. I've never been so excited in all my life. Congratulations. You've Thank secured you. your spot in the final elimination quiz. Yes. With $100,000 on the oh, line. Oh, my God. Yeah. Now, guys, head back inside and prepare yourselves for your final night in the mansion.
Emma, Jeremy, you are the second team oh. back to the mansion. <laughs> We were excited and then we were like, oh, we want to come first. But who cares? We're top two. <laughs> oh my God, that's so good. Emma and I were so happy. We've been working towards this for like seven weeks now. This is what we're here to do. We want to make the top two teams. And now here we are. Congratulations, guys. You've secured the second spot in the final elimination quiz. Well done. Thank Thanks. You. Now, head back inside and prepare yourselves for your final night in the mansion. Thanks. Yes. pulling into the mansion. We didn't see any cars, which I was really excited about, and to realise we did have a chance. Me and Peter are running out, and my heart is racing so fast. Michelle, Peter, you are the last team back to the mansion. I'm sorry to tell you that your journey ends here. I was sad. I just wanted to uh, give Michelle a big hug and sort of, I think we probably wanted to hide away from everything a bit for that moment. Bad luck, guys. We tried. You've been an amazing team. Well, this is pretty upsetting um, to get so far in the game and just leave when it's so close. Well, guys, it's been a pleasure having you here. Thanks for being part of Beauty and the Geek Australia. Thank you. Thank you. see the disappointment on their faces. I mean, I, I felt for them. I'd been in that position as well, and, you know, it sucks to find out that it's the end of your game. <sighs> We've done so well yeah. together, and to make it this far, at least we didn't get eliminated first, so can, you know, we've experienced so much. Ah, give me a hug! Bear hugs! Who would have thought that a mycologist and a meter maid would make a really great team? <laughs> Yes. I've realised I am smarter than what I thought I was. Like, I may say silly stuff, I may not be able to, like, pronounce things properly or spell things properly, but I, like, being on the show shows me that I am smarter than what I look like and what, how I come across to people. Flurgies! I think me and Michelle were greater than our individual parts and we're colourful people, interesting people, and I think we did ourselves proud. Thank you so much for everything. Oh. I wonder who's coming back next. I don't know. I'm nervous. I don't really care at this point. Neither do I. I don't want any of them to come back. <laughs> I want us to just win. I'm hoping that Peter and Michelle come back because I feel that, you know, Sorry. as a team, Corinne and I are a lot stronger than them. So you guys guys. Oh no. It's going to be tough. It's going to be really, really tough to go up against Emma and Jeremy. How was your fun day out? Really oh good. my god. They're both incredibly intelligent and really competitive, so it's, it's going to be a big battle. Now it was time to get ready to have a party and just relax and have fun with all the eliminated castmates. It's going to be so good. What are these things? I made so many friends in this house and uh, unfortunately due to the elimination process I, I lost so many friends. So to see their faces again was just great. 
Arriving at the party, I think the first thing I noticed is that there was a stranger there. Oh my god, it's Nathan! Oh my god, I don't even recognise him. So Nathan's back and he's looking pretty, um, pretty good. All I got was a haircut and I lost the glasses, but um, everyone seems to like it, so you know, I, I'll, I can take a compliment. <laughs> so much better and he's more confident now. <laughs> the vibe was just so happy and everyone was having a good time and we really missed each other. I was really happy that um, Corin and Lisa were in the final four. Yeah, definitely happy that those two were in it. But yeah. You have to start doing that. <laughs> I'm personally hoping that Jeremy and Emma will win. I really, really like Jeremy and uh, I really, really like Emma. <laughs> I have to do a toast because I always do a toast every time. <laughs> That's something I would do. Everyone, look at me. <laughs> it's so nice to have all you guys back, and you guys have honestly all become like almost like family to me, I know, and I'm sure the rest of you would say the same. I love all of you so much, and I really um, hope we can be best friends forever. <laughs> Is that, BFF, is that too cheesy? BFF. Oh, yeah. BFF. Corin looked pretty spiffy, and so did Jeremy. They looked really nervous, though, like they knew that they had some tough times ahead. Tomorrow is the final quiz. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared about tomorrow. There's a 50-50 shot at winning $100,000 and, and taking out the title of Beauty and the Geek. Hi guys. Hi. Hi there. Well, Lisa and Corin, Emma and Jeremy, together you have made it to the final stage of Beauty and the Geek Australia. How does it feel to have come this far? Surreal. <laughs> yeah, surreal is a good word, I think. Mm -hmm. Now, let's get down to business. Oh God. Do we have to? <laughs> There is one more hurdle. The final elimination quiz. Where one couple will win $100,000. I never ever in my wildest dreams imagined that I, I'd be sitting there just a few hours away from, um, from the final quiz for, for $100,000. This time, you'll each be tested on how well you know your partner. I know Jeremy, and I know him well, but I thought, I might not know him as well as I think I do. I feel like Lisa and I, we've connected so well, and we know each other really well, and hopefully that, that will shine through. I suggest you use this time wisely to get to know each other a little bit better. And I'll see you all in the elimination room for the very last time. Lisa and I thought we would get outside, get some fresh air, uh, and get ourselves pumped. So what, what do you know about me? You're an organic, synthetic organic chemist. Yes. And you specialise in making drugs for type 2 diabetes. Wow. Maybe you do listen. So what are our routines in the morning? What do you know about me? Jeremy and I thought, okay, let's go through our morning routine. See how much we know about each other. Time to get up. It's five o'clock. <laughs> I don't do that. No. No, you've got to be serious. I don't do that. <laughs> if I was stranded on a desert island and I had to bring three things, what would those three things be? You would bring pina colada mix. Yeah. <laughs> stereo. Yeah. Okay, and you would also bring uh, a makeup kit. Because you want to look pretty for all the people <laughs> that aren't there. That yeah, pretty much. And then. Uh, you probably go. Little, wait, 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 wait. I walked wrong? <laughs> no. But... Oh, no. I've got to fix the bed. Yeah, that's, that's the important part. I was like, oh my God, I do that. I can't believe I do that. And you know I do that. And I didn't know I do that until you told me I did that. <laughs> 
What are you doing? I mean, you can't just make one decision. You can... oh. oh, okay. Oh, no, you would have planned it the night before. Exactly! Oh, my God! <laughs> Walking down the stairs to the elimination room for that very last time. So nerve wracking. I really don't ever remember being that nervous in all my life. I think we've studied enough. We've studied all we can, so fingers crossed we'll be able to pull it out of the bag. I do believe that Corinne and I do have what it takes to win Beauty in the game. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi, Bernard. You're here because you work well together as a team. But which of these two teams has undergone the greatest transformation? And which couple will walk out of here with a hundred grand in their pockets? Lisa and Corin, Emma and Jeremy, welcome to the elimination room for the very last time. As this is our final elimination, this is going to work a little differently. I will ask each of you two questions to test how well you know your partner. Once you have answered, your partner who will be in the viewing room will verify whether you are correct with a written response. The team that answers the most questions correctly wins. Geeks, you'll be going first. Beauties, please head to the viewing room. You know me well. We know each other really well, yeah. so... Yeah, you'll be fine. I'm not nervous. That's good. <laughs> See you later. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Good luck, Corinne. Good luck, Corinne. Geeks. Or should I say... Gentlemen. <laughs> I like it. How are you both feeling? Surprisingly calm, because compared to the very first time I was here, so... I'm happy I went through it the first two times. Corinne, nervous? I'm numb. <laughs> I suppose it's new, but I don't know. Good luck, both of you. Thanks. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. Corin, you'll be going first. Here's your question. Who is Lisa's favourite female singer? Lisa, please write down your answer. So, Corin, who is Lisa's favourite female singer? Christina Aguilera. Lisa, can you verify Corin's answer? Christina Aguilera. Well done. OK, Jeremy. Here comes your first question. According to Emma, what is her best asset? Emma, please write down your answer. So, Jeremy, according to Emma, what is her best asset? Well, we talked about her favourite body parts. So I'm hoping she realises, or hope she gets, thinks the same way. Best asset would be her smile. Emma, could you please verify Jeremy's answer? Her smile. Oh, yes. Well done, Emma. <laughs> Congratulations. This leaves you both on one point. So, Corin, here's your second question. What was Lisa's worst subject at school? Lisa, I'll ask you to write down your answer. Corin, 
What was Lisa's worst subject at school? She never told me this one, but I'm gathering from how well I know her that it would be maths. Lisa, could you please verify Corin's answer? Maths. Well done. You're on two points. Jeremy, you're on one point. Here comes your second question. What is Emma's favourite movie? What is Emma's favourite movie? I'm pretty sure it's Grease. Emma, please verify Jeremy's answer. Grace. <laughs> well done, gentlemen. You're each on two points. Ladies, could you please join us in the elimination room? Hi. Hi. Okay. You did such a good job. Oh, that was fun. Oh, it's like, what subject? Luck, what subject? Well, so. Has to be nice. Yeah. 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 You did really good. Yeah. All right, beauties, it's your turn. Geeks. Please retire to the viewing room to watch your partners. Good luck. Oh. You did fine, just relax, yes. and it doesn't matter either way. We've had a fun, we've had a great time. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Good luck, Lisa. Thank you. Oh, Ladies, your partners each answered two questions correctly, which means you will both begin on two points. Lisa? You'll be going first. Okay. Here's your first question. What was Corin's nickname at high school? Corin, please write down your answer. What was Corin's nickname at high school? Oh, um, I'm not really 100% sure on this one, but I'm going to say Cosa. Corin, would you please verify Lisa's answer? So, Lisa, what was Corin's nickname at high school? Oh, um, I'm not really 100% sure on this one, but I'm going to say Cosa. Lisa, you answered Cosa. Corin, would you please verify Lisa's answer? Cosa. Woo! Oh, wow. <laughs> well done, Karen. Wow. Well done. Thank you. Wow. So, Emma, here's your first question. During his school years, which UK pop group was Jeremy obsessed with? Jeremy. Please write down your answer. I don't know if I told her this or not. Far out. Embarrassing. Emma, during his school years, which UK pop group was Jeremy obsessed with? I'm not sure if he was obsessed with them, um, but I do know um, a group that he really, really liked, um, and, and that would be the Spice Girls. You answered the Spice Girls. Jeremy, could you please verify Emma's answer? The Spice Girls. This is the $100,000 question. Lisa, if you get this correct, and you get it wrong, Emma. Lisa, you will win. <laughs> what sport was Corin playing when he broke a bone in his arm as a child? Corin, please write down your answer.
Lisa, what sport was Corin playing when he broke a bone in his arm as a child? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to go with badminton. You answered badminton. Mm. Corin, please verify Lisa's answer. Rugby. Sorry, your answer is incorrect. That was so tough. <laughs> so, Emma, here's your final question. If you get this question correct, you will win Beauty and the Geek. How many years did Jeremy complete at university. Jeremy, please write down your answer. Oh, I think she knows this. How many years did Jeremy complete at university? I think it was five. Five years. When asked how many years Jeremy completed at university, you answered five. Jeremy, could you please verify Emma's answer? Oh my god, give me a hug. Oh my god. <laughs> so sorry, man. It's all right, man. Such a good job. Oh my god, Jeremy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you're bring your wrist. Oh my god. You're so smart. It's so much smarter than you realise. Emma and Jeremy, you are the winners of Beauty and the Geek Australia. The $100,000 prize money is yours. How do you feel? We can't believe it. I'm, like, oh. I'm speechless. These guys are such yeah. a strong team. They gave us a run for our money and I thought they had it in the bag. Yeah. I can't believe how much I know about Jeremy. Yeah. And until you asked me those questions, you I didn't realise. No. Congratulations, you're worthy winners. Thank you. And Lisa and Corin, I'm sorry to tell you that you've lost the elimination and thus have come second in Beauty and the Geek Australia. Second, stupid. Well done, guys. We're so happy with that. You guys have been such worthy opponents over the whole course of your journey here. Have you got anything to say to the winners? Nothing but a big fat congratulations. Come on, y'all. Thank you. You deserved it. Well done, guys. Thank you. Oh. I don't know. Group hug. Awesome, awesome. You said it from the start, wouldn't make top oh, two. I wouldn't have, like I said at the start of this, I wouldn't have wanted to have lost to any other team. I just think that you both deserve it so much, you know? Emma and Jeremy, congratulations once again. Thank you. The four of you should be proud of the transformation that you've shown right through the course of this show. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, if you'd like to head out the front of the mansion, there's quite a reception waiting for you. Thanks first. Thank you everyone for being part of Beauty and the Geek Australia and thank you Australia for watching. See you next time. Now that I've learned that I can do anything I want to do, I'm definitely going to change my life for the better. Having the experiences that I've had in the house, it just goes to show that your looks really don't matter. It's learning things, it's being open to new experiences and giving things a go. I've just grown so much a person. Emma's helped me so much, and I'm more confident in myself. <laughs> and you, Miss Smarty Pants. <laughs> I, the one thing that I have learned from this house is that I am smart. Yeah. I didn't think I was. Good job! We need a big hug. Yeah. Not another kiss, though, but, <laughs> but... I'll give you a kiss on the cheek. No nose. 
Oh wow, good yeah. kiss. I wish you had good <laughs> I need more practice to that, but you do. Yeah.